So I want to uh, start from the intel I got today that uh, the military are flying signal to different cantonment to nominate soldiers that will be moving to the east that whether will be often like it or not election must hold i got it from the right source they are they are moving down to abuja for them to arrest them on what to do to how to carry out the genocide from the right source the inner that told me that information again they have succeeded in creating what is called secret right now hope is that they are not patrolling they are moving house to house to point the IPUB member and when they catch you that is the end of you another one again the awareness uh, uh, poster that we are posting what uh, David Dumahi is doing now with the, all the government chairmen is that when they post it they will carry to go to native doctor and they find out who are the who that they pasted the poster they will go and track them but uh, I have already told them to verify and uh, make sure that they, are, they know that uh, native doctor that are working against the government because the person will not decide to leave. Another one again I want to say is uh, based on the coming election. The Biafran have resolved that election will not hold because if you look at the 2015 election, I would take it. Election between Atiku Abubakar and the Buhari. Before the election take place, Ali Mohamed Sherif from Meduguri he came down to the military checking point and instructed the commanders to withdraw their soldiers from the road from cease to cease so that they can pump people from Niger and other part of the countries to come and vote. So they are pump people in trailers to come and uh, vote for election. And the commander said no. He said that if you not do that, that you should wait for him. And the, the commander really did it by instructing soldiers to grant arms. And they grant their arms. They pass them all of them. They come and vote. Finally, uh, I think I will with Buhari. But uh, do you know what happened? When they push the case, push the case, they find out that really they want to expose Buhari. They had a meeting and uh, at the Amy of Kano. I was there live. I followed the the, the general go the meeting. When I reached there, they ask, "Do you know how to speak Hausa?" I say no. They allow me to stay. So meeting is going on. What they discuss is that uh, I should allow Buhari to go. Is their brother that uh, after his own tenure, his article turn. Then somebody asked them, "What about the Igbo?" They say that the uh, Igbo are like a somebody who planted a farm. Somebody planted a farm, and another person want to go and uh, harvest it. That Igbo is not among the colonization of Nigeria. And for that reason, it's the worst thing that will happen to them by allowing the woman to rule. And they give example. Military logo is bearing Arabic. It's a symbol of uh, Nigeria's Islamization country. The CBN is having a, 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 a Arabic logo. It's a symbol of uh, Islamization. And if they should allow an Igbo man as a Christian for that matter to smell that seat, they will change it. For that reason, that they even prefer to allow Biafra to go on a normal ground so that the power, the, the national power might must remain in them because they are afraid that if they allow Igbo man to rule, they may carry army headquarters to Enugu, they may divert everything to Enugu in the center and they will declare Biafra. For that reason, there will be no hope for them. And the election, we really know that the article will, but they don't want it. And again, they ask. If now, I want to ask this question to Peter Obi, 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 nuisance. How can Obi think that he will rule here? Where the act is controlled by Fulani man, when the military is controlled by Fulani man, where the police is controlled by Fulani man, when the judiciary is controlled by Fulani man, even if he win the election and they refuse to declare him, we have to go and reclaim and get his mandate. There is no means for Igbo for election, memory for election, we the Biafran's autopilot have resolved that there is no election hold in our land. No matter the military threat, no matter the intimidation, no matter what the Southeastern governors will do, there will be nothing like election. And again, where I want to still say something again, how Nigeria is a fraud. Boko Haram is a, a game planned by the Northern Land to destroy 
administration of a good luck with Jonathan. They didn't think they said that they kidnapped the Chibok guests. It's a business. They used to make it deal. When, we, when they arrested uh, Ali Mumid, uh, Sh uh, Abu Bakr Shakau, almost several times military arrested them. But do you know what they did? What they did is that uh, they went and released the man, said they should bring it up. Buhari released him. And they go again. When they started to arrest the, the, the Boko Haram members, what they did now is this. They have to go and kidnap their guests, school guests. When they kidnap them, that is under deal they did to federal government. They use it in that way to do exchange by releasing those guests before they would, they would when they release their member before they release. And it happens to me that I witness it. The day they brought that uh, Dabchi guest, they use military uh, vehicles, six helos, with Boko Haram. Boko Haram came with them. They now instructed the militaries to move out of the checking point. They move and stay inside. They drove their vehicle and pass the front of the, 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 the soldiers. After they go, they, 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 the communists are jubilating, they are shaking their hand after they drop them. Then I ask the commander there, since almost a year and six months now, we are here looking for Boko Haram. Even if we want to save the life of these children, why can't we ambush these people, kill them after they drop those girls? What the commander told me is that that question I'm asking is bigger than him. That they have not received order from the Abuf, which is from the Mr. President. So, and the Buhari himself, these are the, 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 the plan that Buhari has, and he has Nigeria, he has no any Nigerian unity in heart, and the, anything about Nigeria is Islamization agenda. Even the emergency of people to be coming for a, a president is a, a deal between him and the UK, the United Kingdom, because of the, the beneficiary they are, they are getting in Nigeria that they must go there to protect them. That is why you see him going to the various campaign and say that uh, I'm not coming for to represent Igbo, but I'm coming for Nigeria. That is the same mistake of a uh, uh, Zik of one Nigeria did, Zik of Africa. That is what we to do want to do to us. And they are asking, we should uh, allow Peter to go, Peter to give us Biafra. How can Peter to give us Biafra? Peter B cannot give us Biafra because Peter B is the worst thing because he has been killing Biafrans. He massacred several Biafrans and put them in the back of the river which we are all aware that we can never allow any election to hold in a Biafra. Then again, when you look at the military oppression, when you go to the north, you see that those that are fighting, they are deploying for where they are dying at the southeastern, south, south, southwest, at the people that they are pushing. All the full new members, their officers and their soldiers are in the barrack, enjoying themselves, going to where they will collect money. But you can never see any southern man go where you will collect any money. So even uh, they are killing them, they have to bribe and pay the, uh, all, the, uh, all the Nigerian uh, media houses. You can see that they are killing about 100, 200 soldiers every day by Boko Haram killing them. But we can never see it in the news because they have already given them uh, and tell them that they should not report anything uh, security in Nigeria. That is why they told you that uh, Buhari is going to end Boko Haram in uh, three months. Do you see what he plan to do? What he plan to do is that uh, you now those bandits you are seeing are Boko Haram. Those henchmen you are seeing are the branches of Boko Haram. Now you want to switch them to bandit and henchmen to rename them. To rename them, as you rename them, then you will not take the victory that you have defeated Boko Haram. All is a lie. That is the, the, the game he planned. And when you look at all those things that are happening soon, you really know that Nigeria is now getting to Islamize. That is why we be friends must exit this country this 2023. Whether Comrain comes on shine, there is nothing to stop us. And this war cannot last more than two to three months because Nigeria have failed. Nigeria have failed. There is nothing about Nigeria you see today. Everything about Nigeria Nigeria have expired. That is why you see all the Jais Bank you are seeing today. Those Jais Bank is they want to buy Nigerian cheap. If you go to that bank, it's under symbol of Islamization. So I have to when I, I when I came down, I tell my people that uh, the only thing is Biafra, is the only hope. And uh, me, personally, I have a dream. Early October last year, my wife is my witness. I slept. In that dream, I saw women, people packing their load, going to the various, in the street, full street. I asked myself, what is happening? They say Biafra have come. That Biafra has come, and no man can stop it. 
That is why me personally, even when I was in the zoo, in the zoo, when I had the brokers, when our leader said that, uh, if you know that you are from that particular region, working in the zoo, come down and come and fight for your freedom. Do you know the funny thing? Immediately that I put resignation for good times. What they did now, instead of even to do company order to hear my reason of a resignation, they threw me to inside deadly place. I managed, managed, escaped that. 